do you reduce the carbon footprint of a film or even a TV episode like this one? The European Green Screen Project shares best practices in sustainable audiovisual production. Eight countries, including here in Slovakia, have already said yes to this challenge. But how much do we pollute in the audiovisual industry? You can compare one uh, average European production to 10 households in terms of the amount of CO2 that it can create. In Čertične, in northeast Slovakia, this crew is filming Martin Gonda's first feature film, Flood. Almost 50 people have to be housed, fed and moved around with lighting and catering. The team is nomadic and committed. They follow the Green Screen Project's guidelines to reduce its carbon footprint. We prefer trains to uh, car uh, or planes and also if it's inevitable to take cars we try to carpool. The other is um, catering definitely so we try to avoid red meat and uh, meat all in general. We try to use um, uh, props and costumes which are either rented or they are second hand. This pilot project has been tested in the UK, Sweden, Belgium, France, Romania, Spain, Poland and Slovakia. The total cost is 2.6 million euros, 85% of which comes from the EU cohesion policy and the remaining 15% from eight audiovisual companies associated with the project. Before the filming even starts, Green Screen holds awareness raising meetings like this one and also advocates for carbon calculating tools. The Bratislava Film Commission is behind Eureka, a free online instrument which helps work out how much CO2 the shoot is likely to produce. It's very simple, you just do these calculations. How much carbon footprint would I uh, produce if I take the train to this destination? Would I produce if I take the plane, if I take uh, a carpooling or if I go alone in the car? So you can do these uh, pre-calculations and then based on them you can decide uh, what is the best option for you and your film crew. On set, we meet the film crew's green manager. Here, huge efforts have been made to cut electricity, with no on-set generator, just a connection to the local network. But small changes are just as important in reducing your carbon footprint. Over 32 filming days, we would have wasted up to 200 plastic PET bottles. Each day, by just bringing one water bottle, which is washable and reusable, we are saving the plastic waste, same with the cup, but still, with waste, it's best not to produce it at all. 